These are devotions for people at a social distance. This whole pandemic experience has particularly exposed a lot of the problems that we have uh, to our approach, our way of life, our um, focus on uh, wealth and maintaining wealth and holding on to wealth and thinking that wealth is what makes us safe. And so, you know, people have been using their wealth and influence to get uh, to, va to get vaccine, to get around uh, limitations and uh the simple reality is uh, that there is no security in wealth, that when you are in a public health uh, emergency, uh, the health of the whole of society is what matters and not your individual health. Uh, you can be as healthy and as strong as you want uh, if a pandemic is raging in the, the poor populations around you, you are at risk. That is the simple reality of public health issues. And of course, this is now coming out in the form of thinking about, you know, being at, in Canada in a country that has, you know, an, an enormous, at this point, an enormous vaccine supply, being next to the United States that has a, an enormous vaccine supply that they're not even using in many cases. Uh, the question begins to come up, well, are we going to give uh, those um those doses to other countries who, who don't have them or can't afford them or when we're unable to book them and are we going to send them on? And, um, and well, of course, it's, there, there's a priority, of course, to protect our, our own citizens and make sure that everyone uh, is able to be vaccinated. Um, to simply hold on to and especially to hoard those vaccines is not only short-sighted, it, obviously it's ungenerous, unkind, but it's also very short-sighted uh, and it is ultimately self-defeating because if that vaccine spreads in other countries uh, and new variants come, uh, we will continue to be at risk. So there is an imperative uh, to be generous, to share, and um, I know that there will be some resistance to that idea, to that thought, uh, but I just wanted to underline that this is important. And of course, it is a long-standing biblical principle. Um, it's repeated many times in the Bible. The one I'm going to share this morning is 1 Timothy 6, 17 and 18. As for those who in the present age are rich, command them not to be haughty or to set their hopes on the uncertainty of riches, but rather on God who richly provides us with everything for enjoyment. They are to do good, be rich in good works, generous and ready to share. It is in everyone's interest that we do uh, practice generosity, that we do learn to share. Uh, this will rebound in good to good uh, on ourselves as well. So this is true, uh, not only on, obviously it's on true on that individual level, and I know that many people experience that. It's true on that international level as well, and I think something to keep in mind. Lord, help us at this moment, as a nation, as a people, to practice generosity uh, and to extend our caring, yes, to our own citizens, but those far beyond our borders, knowing that their health and safety will rebound upon ours. We pray for hope and salvation. Amen.